I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and this is another episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. And today I am joined by a couple of fellow Greenway Health team members, Elizabeth Buckle and Samantha Kirk. They both focus on interoperability. And on today's podcast, we'll be discussing interoperability, one of the hot terms in the healthcare industry. And Elizabeth and Samantha are going to give us some insight as to how Greenway is handle this uh, ongoing trend and the constant changes that are in the healthcare industry. So welcome them both to our episode here and thank you for joining the podcast. And first off, let's discuss the Greenway Health Interoperability Services team. And once a practice is ready for implementation of our product solutions, how does the award-winning customer service lead to faster implementation times and increased product satisfaction? Well, at Greenway Health, always looking for ways to implement interfaces faster and better for our customers. Our goal when a customer goes live is that they're happy and confident in how to use the product. We meet regularly as a team to see where we can gain efficiencies and go that extra mile for the customer. We've introduced bulk enrollment, which allows us to implement interfaces in mass and get our customers live more quickly. We've also, over the last several years, grown our coordinator team that allows the customer to have a dedicated interoperability resource throughout the life of the project. We've seen some really good feedback from our customers, too, since adding this team, with about 95% of our customer surveys rating us 10 out of 10. What are some of the common concerns and most frequent questions you see during implementation and maybe even in the time period a little after implementation is complete with practices? Okay. Um, The number one question we get in concern is going to be how long is this going to take? What am I going to have to do to get my interface live? Um, implementation timeframe has been a huge focus for our interoperability services team over the past two years. We've spent countless hours brainstorming ideas and reviewing statistics to see where we spend the most time. Um, with that information, what we did is we went back and we built an intuitive quoting tool for our sales team. We've added a team of business analysts that assist sales and the customer during the discovery phase to make sure we deliver the right product. We've also built training materials in the form of videos and documentation for our customers, and it can be found on My Greenway, which allows self-training for the customer, you know, if there's turnover, refreshers is needed. Um, Another thing we've done is worked hard to strengthen our relationship with the third parties, Um, our labs or hospitals, things like that. Um, A lot of times the delays we see are on their side, you know, what what their expectations are, what their timeframes are. So by keeping that close relationship with them, we've been able to um, set expectations better for our customers. Now you mentioned it, it's been a big focus for the interoperability services team to shrink time frames and I know it's hard to say exactly how long an implementation process is going to take but how does your team work with the practice during that time and does it vary from practice to practice as to the length of the time or how does that work? It, it definitely does. Um, it depends on the specialty. It depends on what who we're interfacing with and things like that. Um, I can say because of the awesome work this team has done that we've been, um, we're average about 45 days to implementation and that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, with our larger labs, we're getting our customers up and running in about two weeks sometimes, which is very impressive. Um, what not everyone understands is that interfaces are not magic. They do require effort from the practice. They require time from the practice. So we at Greenway, we try to make the process as smooth and less burdensome as possible by assigning interoperability coordinators to each project. Our coordinators have had extensive training on our product workflows and provide training and assistance to the customer during the project. The coordinators provide our practices regular updates on their projects and their their main point of contact. So if they have any issues, questions, escalations, they know exactly who to go to, which has really been great for our practices. Um, Our coordinator team is territory-based, so what's cool is that they build relationships with our customers, and that's really something big that we focus on, having that relationship. Um, So you talked about uh, territory-based for the teams. Is that by region? Do we, how do we divvy that up around the country? It's by region. Yes, by region. Mm -hmm. Um, And we've gotten great feedback from our customers, too. If I can read maybe a few surveys to you. Um, We had an OBGYN customer in Washington. Their feedback to us was, I always find Greenway staff willing and quite able to provide any new functionality, reports, or whatever I need. Um, We had a cardiac group in Florida, great communicator and knowledgeable, which is definitely something that we want our coordinator team, they they need to know the products, they need to know the training, and that's something we really focus on. Um, One of our billing service customers in Florida, once the project was started, the assigned resources were exceptional, wish all of our vendors were this good. Um, And that's one of my favorites because this company works with a lot of different EMR vendors, so for them to say that it was great to work with us really stood out as something. And that's something interesting and, and important to point out when we talk about interoperability. That's the whole 
thing around Interop mm -hmm. is, is all these different vendors and, and practices working with multiple vendors and, and trying to get everything to work cohesively. Exactly, exactly. We hear so much about interoperability in healthcare technology today. And as the interop uh, director for the services team, how do you work with the practice to uh, maintain their product solutions once they're in place? We make sure we listen. You know, so many times we don't just take the time and listen to what our customers want, what their needs are, what their concerns are, what their ideas are. So we work very closely with our product management team to get their items on our roadmap. And then uh, Elizabeth, you have something to add to that, correct? Right. So it's really the product management team's responsibility to understand our customer needs, to understand regulatory requirements, and also the market's position to be able to outline and plan upcoming releases. So we take information directly from meeting with our customers, but as the product manager for Interop, I also make a point to stay in tune with what's going on with the Interop services team because their feedback from our customers is really vital um, to pass to product management. The issues that the services team encounters when they're working through those implementations with our customers is invaluable to us. Um, so all of the above is what we take into consideration um, for prioritizing work for our upcoming release cycles. And Liz, something we shared news-wise uh, just a couple of weeks ago, um, the Commonwealth Health Alliance collaboration with Care Quality uh, to advance interoperability has made great strides. Uh, and earlier this month, as I mentioned, the Commonwealth cited Greenway Health's efforts to have a handful of providers live, which allows Commonwealth to validate and benchmark the connection. So what does this mean for providers who are using our product solutions? The collaboration between these two national players in the interoperability space is truly incredible. Greenway was a founding member of Commonwealth about five years ago, um, and we continue to be a big supporter of the services that Commonwealth provides. We have had Commonwealth services available for our Prime Suite customers for a few years now, and so we'll be also bringing Commonwealth services to our energy customer base this fall, something that we are very excited about. So in essence, for our providers, Commonwealth allows them to query for patient data from hospitals, health systems, and other acute spaces, um, including clinics as well, and pull those clinical documents into their chart with ever, without ever having to leave their Greenway EHR. With the integration between Commonwealth and Care Quality, the available connections for our Greenway ambulatory clinics will expand to now include connections with Epic hospitals and health systems, which we understand is going to be game changing for our customers. So the best part of all of this is that it's all handled through our Commonwealth services that we provide, which is completely free to our customers. So be on the lookout definitely for that announcement when uh, the general availability of care quality um, comes out because it is coming soon. We will certainly keep an eye out for, uh, for that announcement. And once that announcement is made, we'll certainly share it not only uh, to our customers, um, but also on our website and throughout our social media networks. And perhaps maybe even that'll be something to follow up with and have another episode um, here on the podcast regarding that. And as we continue down this road with interoperability and Project Polaris, we certainly will have more and more topics here on the podcast and on webinars. And for more information, please visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. I want to thank both Elizabeth Buckle and Samantha Kirk from our interoperability services team for taking time to join this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. And I want to remind you that you can subscribe to our podcast, the podcast available on SoundCloud and also available on mobile platforms, which includes the Apple iTunes Store, Google Play Music Podcasts, and now on Stitcher. For now, and for this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, I'm Joe Augustinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and thank you for listening to this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, the podcast from Greenway Health.